Hi everyone, I'm Mark Rep, Technology Trainer at Port Huron Schools, and today we're going to take a first look at the Dell Latitude 3379 2-in-1 laptop. This is the laptop that was purchased with bond money for teachers to use in their classrooms. As you can see right away, it's a very thin, very light laptop, roughly three and a half pounds, and as I'm going to show you in this video, it's a little different than some of the laptops you've used in the past. The first thing you'll notice right away is that the power button is in a different location than you would normally find. As you're holding the laptop like this, you'll see that the power button is right here on the right side in the very front. To turn it on, you're just going to press this. So you may actually have to look for it and then use your fingernail to press it to turn on the laptop. This is the lock screen, but to log in, you'll simply click right on the desktop image and then put in your password. It can also be configured to use a PIN number, but that's totally up to you. As we take a tour of the side ports, I've already shown you the power button, and right next to the power button is the volume rocker that you'll press up and down and when you do, you'll see that the volume will go up and down. So when you're playing a video on YouTube, for example, or anything that has audio, the volume can be controlled right here on the right side. Now as you go down from that, you'll see that there's a slot right here. This slot is for an SD card, a secure digital card. These are also known as memory cards. If you happen to have one, you can slide it right in And if you have photos on your SD card, for example, you can click on the File Explorer. It's the icon that looks like a folder. If I click on this PC, it will show me that the SD card is right here. I can double click and then see all the files on the SD card. To eject the SD card, just punch it in and it will pop right out. Now just to the right of that, this happens to be a USB 3.0 port with PowerShare. It would be a good port to plug something into like an external hard drive or a flash drive or anything that requires fast data transfer. This is the Noble lock slot and it is only used if you have purchased a lock for your laptop. You could lock it to a table, for example, and plug it right in like you would a bike. As I turn it to the other side, you'll see an audio jack. This is where you can plug in headphones. Just to the left of that is a USB 2.0 slot where you can plug in a mouse, a flash drive, or any other USB device. Not quite as fast as the USB 3.0 slot on the other side, but it'll work well with any device that has a USB cable. To the left of that is an HDMI slot, and I just happen to have an HDMI cable with me. This can be plugged in directly to that slot, and then can plug into the wall or directly to your projector and you can then project your laptop onto your projector screen. Now you'll notice that this laptop does not have the older style VGA cable that looks like this. Remember these? You won't find any place to plug this in. This laptop will need HDMI. Directly to the left of the HDMI slot is the USB Type-C slot. USB Type-C is an up-and-coming and very fast USB connection and charging option. And if you have a USB hard drive, for example, that has USB Type-C capability, this would be an excellent port to use. And just to the left of that is your AC power port. Just plug in your AC power cord directly into that little hole so that you can charge your laptop. So that's a look at the slots and the ports.